The first time Elle found me was at my school when I was 13 years old. I had delayed my exit because there was a boy, Robert Neal, who had taken a dislike to the way I walked, which at the time was with a considerable wobble to the left and a rectifying stride to the right. That, coupled with my mildly hunched back, had only the nickname Bison, an unpleasant alternative to Peg Legarini. Neil was a skinny little runt, arms too long for his shirts, his ankles visible below his trousers. He was poor and it showed. His skin was always a sickly grey pallor like he wasn't getting enough iron in the free school dinners that he had to eat because his parents couldn't afford to feed him. Every day without fail he would hang around outside the school dates waiting for me. I thought I had waited long enough but 40 minutes after the bell he was still there. By the time I saw him there was no going back so I put my head down, began walking faster. Hmm came the noise, the sound of a bison, guttural and as deep as his half-broken voice would permit. Hmm, began his band of three followers, soon erupting into a chorus of chanting. They let me pass, a twist in the game that unsettled me even more, but they were soon on my tail. That was when Elle appeared in front of me, a vision like I had never seen before. She was 17 at the time, her pink hair was in bunches and the ring in her nose shone as the sunlight caught it. At first I thought she was a stranger, but then I noticed a small triangular scar on her forehead that jogged a subtle memory from my childhood. The memory was of our only other reunion when I was nine years old. It was my parents who'd arranged that meeting, but they lived to regret it. Afterwards, Aunt Jemima said we had to move house so Elle wouldn't be able to find us again. She would have moved to a different country had Uncle Marcus agreed. Then Elle found one of our cousins in Edinburgh and followed her back to our new house. Finding my school after that was easy. Hi, she said to me, as cheerful as you could imagine. The crowd of boys pulled up behind me, their hands on their knees as they caught their breath. She said it like we were old friends, as if I knew her. 